Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel of DCC and ITA Gatala. And today we are going to discuss problem E building an aquarium. If you haven't read the problem statement, I will just explain you. So you have been supplied an array A. It's basically nothing but uh, it just represents height of towers like A1 will represent height of tower 1, A2 will represent height of tower 2, AI will represent height of ith tower, like that. And you can assume this as a tower if you are confused by this term coral. Okay. And yeah, we will assume this as a tower. You have been also given one thing that uh, this is kept in a water tank of height edge. Height edge. Uh, we don't know the height of we don't know the height of water tank. We will find this in the answer. And you can observe one thing that uh, some water is being stored here. Some water is being stored here, like above this one, above the three one. Uh, one amount of water is there above this three and above this two. So this is total six amount of water, and this is two amount of water. So basically, there is eight amount of water. So the question is like, you have to find minimum possible height of uh, maximum possible height of edge. Such that uh, uh, your your tank won't store more than x amount of water. If you are confused by this statement, you can think like uh, imagine if I take edge as very high, like infinity. Uh, if I take edge as very high, infinite, then how much amount of water will be stored? So the amount of water stored will be also like infinity. It will also like infinity. But we don't want that. We only want X amount of water to be stored. So there might be some maximum possible value of H for which uh, only uh, X, up to X amount of water can be stored. And yeah, uh, you can also store zero amount of water, one amount of water, up to X amount of water. So this problem is like a general binary search problem. If you have practiced binary search problem, uh, if you have read binary search or answer even once, then you might get the idea. Uh, so yeah, we will just apply binary search on height edge. Uh, and how we will apply that? We will just, uh, how will we apply that? We will just uh, start our low pointer. Uh, you have been given that height should be at least greater than equal to at least one. So I will keep my low pointer to one, and I will keep my high pointer to say two e nine, because you can see constant here. Uh, AI can range up to one to the one to ten to the power nine. So I will store i to two e nine. After that, yeah. After that, I will just um, make design a check function whether uh, whether the supplied mid will satisfy the condition or not. So this mid is basically our height and we will check whether with this height this height with this height uh, whether you can store up to x amount of water or not. So what I will be doing is I will design check function like uh, it will take h and water of uh, height of water tank and if the total amount of water exceeds more than exceeds x if amount of water exceeds x then I will just return then I will just I will not show this answer I will change my height to mid minus one uh, and i will search for the height of wall which is less th which is less than the one we chose before and that's pretty much it i will so this is the intuition behind the problem and i will now show you the code and there's one more thing how will you find the amount of water stored if you have been given height edge and you have been you have an array a and array a so how much 
amount of water is stored here so you can see here uh, how much amount of water is stored here you can see that uh, amount of water stored on the particular indices like here a is equal to 3 and height is equal to 4 so amount of water stored on that particular index will be just height minus that particular index amount of water stored will be nothing but just height minus that particular index and this is only possible when when v1 r is less than equal to height of time and you can see here what if v1 i increases height of time there no water will be stored so you got so basically that's it you know how to uh, store uh, calculate the amount of water and you just have to do binary search i will just show you the code so here i took the uh, n which is number of towers and x uh, up to this is amount of water up to which i want and just i took the input of uh, height of towers after that i set my low pointer to 1 and high pointer to 2e9 and my answer will store the answer and then i applied normal binary search and this is the check function which i designed uh, it will take mid uh, our array and x and answer will store our maximum height which is answer comma mid and you can see that whenever this check function get true i will shift my low pointer to mid plus one that means i will search for height which is greater than the previous height that means i will search for a bigger height because i got the answer for the smaller height so i will check whether it is possible for bigger height or not so otherwise i will otherwise i will search for lesser height uh, i will shift my high counter to mid minus one so how is the check function this check function is nothing this water variable is store the water and you can calculate the amount of water stored like i just told you if v1 i height of tower is less than tank then water stored on that particular index will be the uh, height of tank minus that particular index as i showed you here and you will iterate over the entire array so you will get the amount entire amount of water that is stored so that's it that's how you can calculate the amount of water stored and yeah and we want the water stored to be less than x so if amount of water stored is greater than x then it's just not the answer i will just return false okay or else if it can store water less than x then return true and i will search for greater heights so that's basically it uh standard binary search problem uh you can uh, perform this problem in lesser time complexity also uh you can find the amount of water stored by two pointers method by keeping one pointer on first index and another pointer on second index uh so yeah you can try that for practice but this problem fit in time constant and it won't give time limit error so yeah that's the answer of uh, building an aquarium thank you